there were times in the early days when we almost gave up. Um, you know, it was five and a half years before we developed Life is Good. So we were making t-shirts and surviving, but we were barely surviving. And right at the point where Life is Good came along, we were down to $78 between us. We already had started uh, substitute teaching on the side um, just to pay the rent. And we were really this close to having to give it up. And then the shirt sold and we were off and running. I think the biggest reason we survived in the beginning with Life is Good, even though we didn't know what we were doing, was that the brand is so strong that there was a market and there was a real need for this brand, for optimism. And so much of our culture is focused on what's wrong with the world. And so even though the mechanics of our business weren't good and we didn't know what we were doing, there was a demand. We found that people were really drawn to this simple optimism. One thing that my brother and I really didn't understand when we started the business was the depth of the message. To us, it was about celebrating life and simple pleasures. But what we learned was that our customers would write us letters and they would often be the people who faced the most adversity in their lives. That was a stunner to us and it was a real eye opener. But what we've come to find out is that it's those people who have a different level of appreciation for everything. To them, just to be with friends, just to have a barbecue, just to go out for a walk, they never take it for granted. And when someone hasn't been challenged, they find it uh, you know, more challenging to be optimistic and celebrate every day. If you are interested in building a mission-driven business, there's two very important things. One is that you find an authentic need or demand in the market because you can have all the ideas you want, but if you don't have sustainable customers, you're not gonna help anybody. Number two is, I would strongly advise that you build the mission into the business from the beginning. If you're authentically helping someone and they believe that, then they will help you build your business. In the beginning, we started out to pay the rent. We really wanted a vehicle to sell artwork and a way to make a living along the way we did a few charitable events and that was a pivotal point for us because we realized that we could use this brand for positive social change and we also realized it was really easy 10 percent of all profitability of the company goes directly to kids with life-threatening challenges now the mission's gone from sort of survival to using the good fortune and being able to harness this brand and help children all over the world